touch of white wine to that as well. And lemon juice. If there was such a thing as smell-o-vision, then this story would be one that you wouldn't want to miss. The Homestead Restaurant in Jacksonville Beach has a history that spans nearly 60 years. Over that time, the restaurant has had its ups and downs and has changed hands a number of times. But Abbas Bagheri, who owned two other restaurants in the area over the past 15 years, says the only thing that's changing now is the Homestead's return to its family and wallet-friendly southern roots. A lot of history, as well, not only for the southern dishes, but also the being haunted inside the building. So it, I became more intrigued that really became a challenge that I'm going to open it and uh, make it as popular as it used to be. So here we are. The old homestead used to serve food family style in large portions, but through careful research and customer feedback, which continues to this day, Begary decided that a wide variety of continental or individual southern dishes satisfied the Jacksonville market's need for variety. He broadened the menu by bringing over the most popular dishes from his former restaurant, Max's. Basically, it was extremely limited because all the uh, dishes were served family style on a table. And as a result, you couldn't do a extensive menu. So I felt like we made a really good decision to combine the two menu. Fresh crawfish tail, also a very Cajun, very Southern. Despite his 40 years as a chef, Begary spent months traveling the South before taking on the restaurant to be sure he knew good Southern food. And after months of renovations and a few strange occurrences blamed on the long-reported ghost, the Homestead Restaurant opened again in August of this year. The Homestead's new menu features southern specialties from both restaurants, like Cajun shrimp and creamy grits, New Zealand mussels, Delta catfish with crawfish meat, fried chicken, southern sides, and of course, biscuits. And while other cities like Nashville claim fried chicken as its signature food, the Homestead gives Jacksonville its own take on the dish that is, well, all its own. From the homemade seasoning with just the right ingredients to the oil, Homestead's fried chicken recipe is quality guaranteed. Uh, here we have a mixture of buttermilk, salt, and ice water. Okay, Each order, each individual dinner, comes with four pieces. That's one thigh, one breast, one wing, and one leg. This is a standard chicken breader mixed with regular all-purpose flour. Uh, you can find this chicken breader in any uh, grocery store, any local grocery store. It's about half and half flour and a chicken breader. Okay, you want to make sure that it's fully coated. Drop it directly into the oil so it has lots of room to move around and do its thing. We use the best quality, either canola oil or uh, soybean oil, which is a little more expensive than others, but it's quality. When you taste it, you know that you had the best chicken. But the higher quality is not reflected in the price. The homestead's return to its roots included a return to affordable eating. We want it to be affordable for a family to come back here. So we felt like it's helpful to bring the customer and customer satisfaction to give them the best Portion best quality food for reasonable price. Oh, oh, it looks apple fabulous! Pie. Perfect. Southern apple pie. Of course. Now we actually uh, went to Max's, and then when we learned that the owners of Max's uh, became the owners here, we decided to come here, and we love it. It's just absolutely wonderful. We like the fact that it's a combination of Southern cooking as well as the cuisine they had at Max's, uh, so it's a nice combination. The Homestead Restaurant is open seven days a week for dinner and on Sunday for brunch. You can learn more by visiting their website at www.homesteadrestaurant.us. Oh, and about that ghost. I don't know if I say I've seen the ghost, but I have seen the action that I made me. First, I wouldn't believe that there is a ghost here, but honestly, I feel there is. First day when... Uh, we started construction and I heard all about the ghost story. I just went upstairs, introduced myself, and I said, hey, my name is so-and-so. And since then, I think she's very friendly and she likes me because I clean this place spotless. I think uh, she's, she's going to like me. <laughs> so if fried chicken is one of Nashville's signature foods, what's Jacksonville's dish? 
You can email your ideas to dish at jacksonville.com and vote at the end of the season. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.